Welcome back to the Valley View Live. Yeah. Our guest host, Jeff Manning, puts on an auction like no other. That's right, Megan. From automobiles to antiques and more, they are a full-service auction company located on West Flamingo. Here to perform his bid calling of Vegas style, Jeff Manning and his crew. Take it away. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff Manning with Manning Auctions. And we're here to raise a lot of money for charity. So I'm going to ask you one question. And that question is, would you give? Would you go? Would you bid? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you bid? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you bid? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you buy? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you bid? Would you give it to go? Would you buy? Would you buy? Would you give it to go? Would you bid? Would you give it to go? Would you buy? And now, a one now, two, bid it on two. Would you give two? Would you go two dollar bidder now? Three dollar where now? Four dollar bidder now? Five. I'm bidder four now. Five bid it on five. Would you give five? Would you go five dollar bidder now? Six dollar bidder now? Seven dollar bidder now? Eight dollar bidder now? Nine bid it on nine. Would you give nine? Would you go nine dollar bidder now? Ten. And that's how we get it done tonight, guys. Let's have a round of applause for Amanda and Samantha. They are from Tony Coppola's Rhythm Ensemble right here in Las Vegas. All right, thank you. Yes, come on amazing. over, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, come on over. <laughs> and so I have to tell you guys that auctioneers do some strange things as we were talking about the tongue twisters and the yes. warm-ups. So I'm going to tell you all a little story about my friend Betty. Oh, okay. Betty oh. Botter bought some butter, okay. but she said, <laughs> Ew, This butter's bitter. <laughs> if I put this in my batter, my batter will be bitter. So... She bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made her bitter batter better. You didn't think I was done, did you? No, <laughs> Betty bought her, bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in the batter, it'll make the batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made her bitter batter better. So did Betty Bought her, bought a bit of better butter. I'm not done yet. Betty oh. bought her, bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in the batter, it'll make the batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made her bitter batter better. So did Betty bought her, bought a bit of better butter. Betty bought her, bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in the batter, it'll make the batter bitter. So she bought a bit of better butter, put it in her bitter batter, made her bitter batter better. So did Betty bought her, bought a bit of better butter. Oh, poor Betty. Oh, Betty, oh, Betty. <laughs> the problem with Betty is that she can't cook. And we don't want to be like Betty, so what we have to auction off to you all right now to raise money for charity is a week's worth of dinner for six at the Lindy Culinary Cooking Institute. How many dollars? I took me $2,500 to be able to buy. I'm going to get five where? $25. I'll bid now $27.5. I'll bid $27.5. Thank you, sir. And now three. He bid on three. We're going to get three. We're going to get $32.5. $32.5. We're going to get five. We're going to get five. We're going to get five. We got to go. $3,500 to bid now. $37.5. We're going to get $4,000 is the bid to buy them tonight. Anybody anywhere anymore and all through? I sold it $3,750. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm happy to pick my jaw up from the <laughs> floor. Job. That was amazing, amazing, oh, amazing. Well, we try, to make it, we try to make it fun and interesting yeah. for folks and keep them engaged. Mm -hmm. When did you incorporate the tap dancers and how did you figure that the well, whole live performance? Right. Right. You know, I've been to a lot of auctions. I've been to a lot of charity auctions. And I also have a background in doing some performance myself, in, you know, in my 20s and, stu and such. And a lot of charity auctions, what happens is when the auctioneer is on set, the entertainment stops. And it's, it's just, you know, you, if you get a cattle auctioneer, he's going too fast, people start to tune out. And I would go to a lot of the galas and, and, and I would watch this and I said, you know, I want it to be a little bit more interesting. Right. So, when we do our auctions, you literally never know what's going to happen next. Yeah, and it can so. be intimidating to folks yeah. out there, right, who have never been there for a auction. Yeah, like, raise yeah. my hand now. No, too late, too soon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we want it to be fun for everybody. Yeah. And, and I do try to slow it down a lot at the charity auctions so that everyone has a chance to participate, especially for a fundraising event. It's all about giving. It's all about supporting that nonprofit and bringing the community together. Yeah, so right. that's my goal. And I had no idea that this was a, a, an art, an art, yeah. right, yeah. of auctioneering. Right. You have some it, legends who you looked up to. Yes, right? yeah. Years. How did you utilize yeah. their work? Yeah, when, well, when I was a little kid, you know, I listened to uh, these auction tapes, and I would loop them at night. So literally... I'm falling wow. asleep, and I've got this guy going dollar one now, two, bid it on two, bid it get two, bid it get two, and, and I'm falling asleep to that, so you can imagine what that does, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up. And you're going to be uh, auctioning off a mansion very soon? Yes, and um, 
I, uh, the founder of a very prominent auction company in the United States, saw me down in Arizona. I was training to get better at charity auctions, and now he's invited me to come on board and auction off a very large estate in California. I'm also going to Florida at the end of the month. They're auctioning off a $19 million oh, estate on the beach, goodness. and I'm wow. there to uh, get involved with their company on that. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, you, you give to people and you say yes, and doors open. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, well, well I, you told me uh, during the break that you hang out with the guys from Tanked. You know, so you've met them. You're hanging out with Nicolas Cage. Do I see a movie about you or maybe a reality, a reality TV show, show in your future? Well, um, what's interesting is uh, I, I walked into Lindy Production Studio uh, last July, and they started filming. And what was great about them is since the day I walked in the door and I showed them what this vision was that that I really have a heart to do for yeah, charity. Right. We started working on this. I did script a, a little show idea, yeah. and uh, <laughs> they're working on it right now, and, and we'll see where that goes. We're in awe when you are capable <laughs> of doing it. It's incredible. Yeah. Just remember, we met you in the early days. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate it. You know, it's all about friends and community, and, and I've got a lot of friends here in the last 20 years, and they've all really rallied around it. And, and I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate it and how much it really means to me. And really I nice. want to do some things for some folks. And I, this, is, this is my weird and unique gift yeah. that I can do. Utilize your <laughs> well, let's get back yeah. to our trending topics. Yeah. A Chicago bar 